Hello and welcome to Break Art Now. For this video, I had the privilege of interviewing Audrey Simmons, who soon you will discover not only to be a great writer, but also an amazing artist plus a wonderful map creator. The Promised Neverland is the manga of the week. Hope you all enjoy this fan art of Emma. Remember to get the manga of the week via the link in the description. Now, let's get started. Hello, Al. Lovely to have you here. You are working on Moon Book. Please tell us about it. Ah, yes. Thank you for having me. I've been working on Moonbook since high school, technically. It's changed a lot since then. It's basically unrecognizable. I'm going to read you my blurb first before I get lost in what the book is about. At birth, Neoma was dubbed the Child of Prophecy by the Order of the Moon, a title with great and terrible ties to it, one that should grant her magic enough to take on the vengeful god Orinko and his army, one the people of Manena put all their hopes into. When her lack of magical aptitude becomes abundantly clear, Neoma resents being in the mage classes. As her 18th birthday approaches, she learns that the sisters will force her to go through the anointing ceremony in order to join the sisterhood in the Order of the Moon. Will the Moon Mother forsake her in front of her fellow graduates, or will her blessing cause a series of events that just might break Neoma? One thing is for certain, war is on the horizon and the Child of Prophecy is far from ready to face the might of Arinko. So, as you can tell, it's a story about a girl who's been given this great and terrible burden, societal burden, and she doesn't actually believe that she's the child of prophecy, and the first book is actually called Child of the Moon, which is why I call it Moon Book. Manen, Moon Mother of us all, is the goddess who created everything, and so like the, the society of Manena is very space and moon-themed. Yeah, it's about figuring out who you are and becoming more than who you are. What other stories are you working on? I have so many stories I'm working on. I just finished a book, my first steamy romance, which will be under a pen name. It's called, currently called Murder Batman. That's not, a, not the actual name, but the main character is... She, she basically witnessed her parents murdered for petty cash and then decided to just murder bad men for the rest of her life. So she's like Batman, but with more murder. And there's some other things I'm working on. I've got a couple of dystopian books. I have a future fantasy novel series that I'm working on. I've always got ideas running in the back of my head. I have, I think I counted and I have like 38 different works in progress. <laughs> so there's, there's no containing the ideas in my head. You also create artwork and maps. How do you mix them with your storytelling? Uh, yes, I, I am also an artist. I love making maps. I ju actually just finished making the map for Moonbook, and I consider myself a storyteller, first and foremost. Everything I do is about the story. Like, everything I do for myself, anyways, is, is about the story. And that includes maps. If you look at my map, you can see different areas that are, are very different. Like, there's this black circle that's where a mage was experimenting, and it went horribly wrong and, and resulted in an explosion that took out a quarter of that continent. There's a forest that looks kind of bronzish, and it's actually made of living bronze trees. It's just something I really enjoy doing. And I've also, I have a, a webcomic that I want to make. I've done some scripting of, I've done some character art creation for it. I just, I really like telling stories through art, through writing, all of it. As a storyteller, what are you the most proud of? I am most proud of finishing Moonbook. It was a story 13 years in the making, and that's a very long time, and it was the first book, aside from a really bad Yu Yu Hakusho fanfiction, that I've ever finished writing, and so it was, it's definitely the, the thing I'm most proud about, and I'm really excited to push it out into the world, and then I'll be even more proud of it, because I'll have taken that big, huge, scary step. Any messages or advice for other storytellers out there? My biggest advice I like to give storytellers, especially new ones, is to just keep going. Just keep writing. Keep doing it. It won't be finished if you keep worrying on the tiny little details. The first draft is meant to be messy and weird and terrible because you're just getting it all out there and you can change it in revisions, in editing. You can fix it. You can make it better. I love editing because it's, it's, it's the part of the process where you make things better. 
And the other part is to just keep going. There are mean people out there. There's going to be people that don't like what you write. And you just have to let it go. Let it roll off of you because you're not going to please everyone. And I know that's really hard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but just keep doing it if you love it. Just just keep doing what you love. How can we enjoy more odd stories? I don't actually have anything published yet, but you can look at artwork that I've posted on my Instagram. It's at Autosaurus Rex Creates. You can also go to my Twitter and see some snippets here and there or other artwork that, it, well, same artwork that I've posted. It's at Autosaurus Rex. But I, I do plan on publishing Moonbook soon. The original idea was February, but it's probably going to be more like March or April. So just, you know, look out for uh, you know, Child of the Moon. I'll be doing a cover reveal sometime in the next, I don't know, month or two. And yeah, I'm really excited to be putting this out into the world. Thank you. Thank you so much to Audrey for being here. Please keep an eye on Book Moon as soon as it's out. I will add a link to the description. And of course, the best way to do that is by following Audrey on her socials. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you all come back next week. Bye bye.